I played this game that I love so much, and everything I had, I laid it out there. I've also tried to live my life in a way that will make the people I love and care about proud of me. I have so much to be thankful for. I have been able to live my dream of playing basketball, surrounded by people I love and being cheered on by the best fans in the world. I just want to say that uh, I'm, uh, I'm very honored. Uh, I'm very respectful of the Naismith Hall of Fame. Uh, this is not anything that uh, I plan. I will tell you, there's one moment in my life that I, I'm sure all of you people who've had so many great moments, that was the most special moment in my life, to play the national anthem. Uh, it was the most thrilling, chilling thing that I've ever been involved with. It's a special honor to play with these young men. After 1992, which was my last game competitive I ever played in, pretty good way to go out, winning a gold medal and playing with well, I can't say the best team ever assembled, but one of the best teams ever assembled. Um, <laughs> so what, the cast of characters, the different personalities than Charles Barkley. Uh, but uh, we had a lot of fun. You know, there's a lot of be debate going around who had the best team, the ones in the 60s or the one in 92. I don't know who had the best team, but I know the team in 1960 was a hell of a lot tougher than we were. Because I couldn't imagine the 92 team getting in covered wagons for eight days, <laughs> going across the country, jumping in the Atlantic Ocean, swimming for six days, <laughs> then walking 3,000 miles to the Colosseum in Rome.